Gentlelady yields back for our purposes. The gentleman from Kentucky seek recognition. I move to strike the last word. The gentleman is recognized. This bill is, has been uh, touted as a bill to ban assault weapons, but really what the Democrats would like to do is to ban all semi-automatic weapons. And uh, they've gone to some tortured lengths with this legislation to try and draw a distinction between guns that uh, a lot of people who don't even own, own guns would say, oh, well, that's not an assault weapon versus one that looks like an assault weapon. Yet the people who own guns, which is the majority of Americans, are starting to see through this. And I want to take one of the firearms that's banned but not banned. There's a little bit of schizophrenia in this bill. One of the guns that's banned and then not banned in this bill and point out the problem with this bill. This is a Ruger Mini 14. The one in the upper left, if, you, if the camera's panned out, if you can see it, is a, is a tactical version. The Democrats would have you believe because this has plastic and it's painted black and it has this different way of holding it that it's a weapon of war. So they ban it on page eight. And then on page 13, they furthermore ban the receiver of this firearm. Well, there's a problem with this legislation because on page 26, they unban the, the same firearm that has wooden furniture. Now, let me assure you that any criminal, especially somebody who's determined to wreak havoc on the public, they know that the capability of these two firearms is exactly the same. You're not pulling the wool over their eyes. You may pull the wool over the eyes of some of the people who want gun control. You may placate a portion of your base and a, and a lot of the members who want to ban all guns, but you're not going to stop the violence with this bill because here's the problem with this bill. The gun in the upper left is explicitly banned. The receiver in the upper right is explicitly banned by this bill. The gun in the lower left is explicitly not banned, but it shares the same receiver, <laughs> the same identical internal mechanism as the gun that is banned. So a person, and I'll ask Mr. Cicilline, since he's the author of this bill, and I'll yield some time to him. If a person, in, is a person in possession of a receiver that could be used in either the banned gun or the not banned gun in violation of the law, if this receiver is manufactured, it doesn't have any. Thank you for the explanation. So the upper left-hand weapon that you just identified, and you made reference to the plastic and the color, that has nothing to do with the ban and nothing to do with the legislation. That firearm in the upper left-hand corner is banned because it has two features that are banned: a folding stock and a pistol grip, and that relates to the lethality to the power to the portability and concealability of that firearm. That's why it's banned. They don't exist in the one that you put a green check mark through. So it doesn't have anything to do with the wood and the plastic. It has to do with the features, the military features that exist on the top that don't exist on the bottom. Re reclaiming my time, a person who's unfortunate enough to be shot by either one of these weapons, do you think they care that it had a pistol grip? Look, you're going to be shot by the... The, the firearm on the top or the bottom. There's no question about that. The, the firearm on the top is an assault rifle because by definition in this statute, it has two of those features that are have a military purpose that have no hunting or sporting purpose. That's the definition. Are there other guns that are dangerous? Of course there are. But we're not here to Re ban guns. For, we're here to, to Re prevent Reclaiming my time for the okay, second. Well, I'll yield sure. to you again for the, for the second part of my question, which is the ambiguity in the legislation is a person in possession of this receiver violating either the, the law prescribed on page eight or the law prescribed on page no. 13 that bans that receiver? No. Even though that receiver is banned on page 13 as a frame or receiver of a rifle or shotgun described in subparagraph H, which is this gun. No, because that has to be assembled. That other gun has, in fact, the characteristics on the gun. One of the, you're two proving of the my point. In its unassembled form, you're trying to ban this receiver when it's not assembled into a firearm. Yet there's ambiguity here. You've said that it's banned in the legislation, bans the receiver, but you're telling us now that it doesn't, as long as it's not assembled. But the legislation on page 13 contemplates the unassembled receiver. So, question is, 
My question is, is this receiver legal or not? Because your bill is ambiguous. Gentlemen's time, my is, time is yeah, I'm happy by. to answer. If you currently possess that, it is not prohibited. You'd be prevented from no, acquiring. No, no, no. Let me. Right. Gentlemen, See, the gentleman's time has expired. Oh. Is, after the enactment of this bill was my question. The gentleman's time has expired for what purpose?